Welcome back. We are back with District 10 for the Veterans in Politics Assembly Interviews. My name is Nick Starling, Public Relations Officer for Veterans in Politics, also United States Army Ranger. And what we're going to go ahead and do for District 10, uh, if you could go ahead and give us your elevator pitch, that is your 30 to 45 second intro to yourself. Uh, please remember that at the beginning of every question, state your name, uh, I'm sorry, at the beginning of every answer, please state your name for the listeners at home. Okay, well, the only elevator speech that I have is the one I gave uh, for, for Cox, so that's uh, about a minute and a half, but I'll try to make it a little shorter. My name is uh, Steve Norris, and I'm running for Assembly District 10. I've been a working man all of my life, so I know that a paycheck can never, or, or I know that an unemployment check can never give one the same pride that a paycheck you earn. So I have a, a specific plans to uh, improve the economy and to, to do that. Basically, I would uh, eliminate uh, cumbersome regulations and uh, profit killing fees and taxes on businesses so they can hire more workers. These new taxpayers would also uh, lower the state budget by removing them from the unemployment rolls. I also have a plan where, I, where I'm seeking to, uh, to get back uh, control of federally controlled lands, which have actually been uh, from the uh, Constitution when we became a state in, in the, uh, around the Civil War period. So I'd seek to uh, get uh, control of these lands. Even if we only get 10% of them back, we'd actually gain 10%. We'd actually double the land for private ownership uh, in, in the state. So, but I'd like to get all of them if I could. I know a lot of them are mil military bases and things like that that are probably off limits. But I'd like to have those available for resource development for the benefit of all Nevadans. And uh, other than that, as a, as a libertarian, uh, I think you guys also want to know what a person believes. I believe that all individuals have a right to live as they choose to live, as long as it does not harm others. And I believe that the best form of equality is to respect one another, regardless of the circumstances we find ourselves or we find others. And so if you want a candidate who's fiscally responsible and will jealously guard your freedoms, I believe I'm your best candidate. My name is, again, is Steve Norris. I'm running for uh, Assembly District 10. Uh, Mike Murray, my question for you is about a third of our Nevada state revenue each year comes from somebody that's already broke, that being the federal government. And this is something that none of the candidates address at all. It's bad enough we have a shortfall now, but the, eventually the federal tap is going to run dry too. What do we do then? Well, like I said, I, I believe if we're able to develop the resources in the state, which are basically off limits right now, I think that'll help uh, generate many revenues for the state. We could uh, it will help with with every area, uh, it's public safety, education, uh, even reducing tuition costs. But we have to open up these resources for development so that uh, all Nevadans can benefit from this. And the federal government is basically locking up more and more every year lands in the West. I think we need to unlock that. I know that we have to have some of that from Congress uh, gain us that, but I think a, a constitutional amendment to, to re reassert our rights to our own lands in the state would, would help with that. Uh, Kenneth Moy, going to go, so I'm retired. I've decided that uh, I'm no longer going to take the benefit from the state of Nevada for uh, the DMV, because the truth is I really don't need it, but I've been taking it for years. There are a lot of veterans who uh, do need it. You get a property tax, for instance. I, I wasn't a very good soldier. Every time I went somewhere, people tried to kill me. And it seems to me that I didn't do a very good job because they kept getting me. So people like me that are, have been seriously wounded uh, get a tax benefit. The state of Nevada can save, we're looking at the numbers right now, we think it's probably around $50 million because veterans are getting DMV uh, discounts and property tax discounts. Would you be in favor of taking uh, those uh, discounts away from veterans or make it optional like what I'm gonna do now? 
Well, it's always optional. You don't have to take the benefit if you don't want to and let your conscience be your guide. Uh, as libertarian as I am, I still respect uh, the sacrifices that our armed forces have, have, have done for our freedoms. And so this is, this is the one place where I would probably part ways for the, for the libertarians, and I would still maintain those uh, tax benefits for libertarians. Uh, because basically it's a tax break for libertarians, we're for lowering taxes anyway. And I don't see it as, uh, as an expense to the state by lowering taxes on veterans. And it's a basic uh, principle of libertarians to lower taxes any, anyway. So I would not take that uh, tax break away from, uh, uh, from veterans. And I would try to see ways we could give that tax break to everybody. But if we could only give it to one group, I think veterans are a pretty good group to give it to. Did you mention your name again? Oh, yeah, my name is Steve Lenoris, uh, Assembly District 10.